Current team associated here at the Nurses Show, Rick Howard, is uh, going to do a little interview with us about the uh, the new associated cars that are available. What's the main differences between the two different cars? Like, obviously, one's an off-road version, one's a carpet version. I understand. What are, what are the differences just between the two? Quickly, just a, just a little bit. Well, I mean, the main difference is the transmission. You've got the lay-down transmission in the car that would be designed for carpet. Okay. So it lowers the center of gravity, moves the weight forward, allows the battery, everything to be pushed forward. Okay. A little bit more than the dirt car where the weight is farther back and intended to give you a little more rear traction on okay. surfaces where you need grip. On carpet, you pretty much have endless yeah, traction. That's true, yeah. And you're almost looking to get yeah. rid of traction. So true enough. So that, that's the main uh, obvious difference. Okay. Uh, I see there's a shock tower difference here. One's one's wider, one's a little narrower there. Yeah, the front suspension geometry is different. The uh, the dirt car has a straight A-arm, and the carpet car, we'll call it the carpet car, yeah, that's fine. has a gull wing arm. So it just changes okay. the characteristics of the steering. And same with the shock tower. you got your shocks positioned wider apart. It just changes how it works okay. on carpet. So the engineers have done a good job really refining the two platforms and I mean there may be some crossover between the two when you get okay. to the track and you know maybe you'll run straight arms on carpet maybe you'll run gold wings on gold wing arms on dirt okay I mean that's still kind of you know the racers are the best testers and True enough. Yeah. they run on more conditions than we can even run on so yeah uh, it'll be a few months before you know everyone's kind of sorted Need out but we do yeah. know that this on carpet is obviously pretty tough to beat for sure. I, I see, was it Cavalier? Is that the ECS or EOS? EOS, European yeah. off-road series, is yeah. that what it is? Yeah, and I think if you win, I believe you won. Did he you was not? the winner, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. He wasn't top qualifier, but the yeah. top qualifier was running up E6 also. So. There you go. So, wow, that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, a bunch yeah. of cars in the AMA. That's so. awesome. That's really good. And then, uh, you know, on dirt, it's, uh, you know, it's it's a, an upgraded B5. So okay. if you like the B5 on dirt, you're going to like this even okay. better. What about as far as, so these kits here, is it, these are production kits. Yes. Obviously, it's not coming with any of the servo, battery, motor, we get that. But what about some of the other stuff that I see in here, like the blue, the blue, you know, the, the aluminum servo mounts, things like that. Is that going to be a standard in the kit, or is that going to be available on aftermarket? Yeah, the cars, as you see them now, minus the wheels and tires and electronics, okay. will be how they come in the kit. And that includes the bodies and the wings. Okay. So okay. the tires and wheels, you know, everyone has their own preference and depending right. on the track you race on or if you have spec tires for some of the carpet trucks. Okay. That way, uh, you know, you're not paying extra for something you don't need. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Are the uh, are these titanium turnbuckles or are they just standard? These steel are ones, nickel, nickel plated steel. Okay. And titanium will be an option. Okay. Uh, okay. there'll be other option parts as well. These come with a standard uh, the standard hard-coated shocks with a titanium nitride-coated okay. shock shafts. Okay. So you can put the Kashima Fox shocks on, nice. chrome okay. shock shafts. Awesome. So there is some room to update them, but awesome. out of the box, they're, they're pretty damn good. I see kind of here, so this one has like a little adjustment here on the steering knuckle, I see. Is there, for different lengths, is that? Going to be something that's going to come out, or is that? Yeah, it changes the okay. the Ackerman and how the, the steering operates. But on the carpet car, you can see it clearly because we've taken yeah. the well to run the carpet front tires. The rims have been narrowed, so you see a little bit more of what okay. uh, what's going on there. Even though both cars are the same. Okay. Cool. Awesome. The uh, dirt car also uh, has a ball diff, okay. and the carpet car has a gear diff. Gear so diff. Generally, you'll run a gear diff on carpet and very high traction surfaces but okay. there's a chance you could run the lay down car on dirt and it'd be perfectly yeah true perfectly enough. good or maybe even better and you need to put the ball diff in this car and okay you know you, so a customer could buy the gear diff separately and put it into this yes. car if you wanted to yes okay cool and vice versa yeah like you were and, saying. and the chassis are the same and they're drilled so that you can use either transmission and oh sweet so okay. you know maybe you like the, all the dirt characteristics, but you want the laydown transmission, oh, you can just pop nice. that right in this car. Nice, that's really good. Uh, bodies, I see, J Concepts. Yes. Um, obviously it's coming with that body, J Concepts body in the box, or? It will come with this body. Okay. Now this is, this has all come out 
so soon. Yeah, where this no, show is, for sure. Is, yeah. The body is a J Concepts body, but I honestly don't know if it's a exclusive to us or if okay. this is something that J Concepts will sell. Okay. okay. Or if it's just something you can get from us. But okay. Cool. You know, it's got all the latest design features yeah, that you sharp. that yeah. you need, and it comes with the scribe lines for either car because each one requires a different cutout around the, the sure. back end. Yep, absolutely. So, you know, that's awesome, man. Thanks. Super cool. Yep. Pretty stoked to uh, get our hands on these and we don't have that long time to wait. So, awesome. Yeah, no, it's a couple months and you'll be Thanks. Racing. Thank you very much, Rick. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thanks. Thanks.